Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show, uh, as a, a Cricket Happening Show today. And uh, your host Ram is uh, going to look, I mean I'm going to preview the, uh, the test series between South Africa and Sri Lanka. But tomorrow is the first test match which starts between South Africa and Sri Lanka. And this is going to be played in Centurion Park. They're going to play three test matches and then the one day internationals follow. Now, as far as uh, now look, just doing a preview of the South Africa Sri Lanka Test series. You now, as far as South Africa are concerned, South Africa are looking a very confident unit. Uh, they did well against Australia. Um, they have been having some uh, good time, no doubt about that. Uh, Graham Smith has already hit form. Uh, Jack Rudolph is in some. He's, he has been in some very good domestic form. Uh, so uh, he will also be raring to go. Uh, that is South Africa definitely have the advantage of uh, you know have playing on uh, playing at home uh, and uh, in South Africa there's a lot of bounce and a lot of pace so that will be the key there uh, Hashim Mamla you know what a great player he is he's uh, almost turning out to be a great player now uh, Jack Scal is uh, one of those experienced blokes in the South African team uh, AB de Villiers uh, is uh, a wonderful player to have he's a real asset to the team and Ashwell Prince is absolutely test match material he likes to graft there stay at the crease frustrate the bowlers and go for big scores mark boucher uh, the south africans have actually uh, got their retained their faith in mark boucher they have not gone for any reserve wicket keeper they have mark boucher uh, they have gone for experience the mark boucher the wicket keeper and he's also a very handy bat uh, in crisis times he's always there uh, the bowling is the one which is south africa South Africa, if you know, they are they they are balancing both batting as well as bowling. They are strong in all the departments of the game. Um, name it batting, bowling, or fielding. Uh, one on Philando the other day showed how he could swing the ball and he could you know he surprised the Australians with his uh, pace and movement there and he picked up a lot of wickets. Uh, Dale Steen, the express pace bowler, and he's the most experienced uh, of the pace attack there. Mon Markel is a very very uh, a lethal combination. Dale Steen with pace, Mon Markle with his size, uh, with his pace and bounce, and Imran Tahir, the right arm leg spinner. And now, right arm leg spinner, how he goes? Because normally uh, on um, uh, the South Africa, the Sri Lankans have been bred on lots of leg spin, like India. So probably Imran Tahir might not be much of a proposition as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. But again, as you know, the South African pitchers have a lot of bounce, so Imran Tahir uh, might not be so easy to negotiate. Uh, and the the good and for Sri Lanka, what they are hunting for is they are trying to get their first victory on South African soil. Can you believe it? So Sri Lanka, have, Sri Lankans have never won, leave alone a Test series, not even a Test match uh, in South African uh, climes and at South in in South Africa. So that is what uh, Sri Lanka would like to do. For them, there is a real goal there. Tilakar Nidilshan and his boys uh, would like to do that and uh, make themselves really proud there. Uh, Tilgan Dilshan, the captain. Well, as a captain, uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't give a uh, hundred marks to Tilgan Dilshan. Uh, he has uh, not been very successful as a Sri Lankan captain. He has been also struggling with his form a bit, not much, but a bit. Uh, Taranga Pranavitana is a very accomplished opener now. Uh, Kumar Sangakara and Maya Jayavardhane are the rocks, are the uh, are the bulwark on which Sri Lanka would revolve because uh, they would like to uh, see Kumar Sangakara and Maya Jayavardhane get some big scores. Because they are the ones who are having the good knowledge of South African condition. They played a lot of cricket um, with their experience. Uh, they would be uh, someone who would, would Sri Lanka would look for uh, to put up some big scores on the board. Tilan Samaravira, uh, he, uh, he has been brought back uh, after not playing against the previous team there. So Tilan Samaravira would like to strike it big. And he has been a very good test match player. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, uh, you know, he, 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 he believes he has got a lot of centuries in this limited uh, uh, limited uh, play uh, uh, in test matches. Angelo Matthews is a very, very good upcoming all-rounder. He's a thinking cricketer. And Angelo Matthews uh, brings his, all his all-round skills. He would be a great asset to the team. Uh, Kaushal Silva will be keeping the wickets. Now, that is going to be interesting to see how Kaushal Silva bats too. Uh, so, he will be keeping the wickets. Uh, and then uh, the bowling. Now, bowling is the one, according to me, that Sri Lanka are going to really struggle. If you look at the bowling attack, it does not have a lot of teeth. There is no Lasit Malinga. 
Uh, Dilhara Fernando is the most experienced, so that's the precise reason Dilhara Fernando has been given an opportunity because uh, he uh, is the most experienced of the pace bowlers. Now, Dilhara Fernando, you can't really rely on him, but definitely he can give the breakthrough. Now, the bowling attack, the pace bowling attack looks a bit weak for me. Tissera Pereira uh, is a medium pacer, uh, he's an all rounder too, so he will be uh, the batting and bowling would be something that he will be bringing into the equation. Chanaka Velagadra will be partnering Dilhara Fernando, the left arm pace bowler, has, was looking impressive, but uh, you know, in, against Australia, but uh, he still needs to do much more than that. But for me, the Sri Lankans uh, key would be the spinners and Rangana Herat, watch out for Rangana Herat, he is a very wily spinner and uh, he can be quite uh, dreadful because if there is going to be bounce, he really turns the ball and he could be quite, uh, quite um, deadly there. And uh, what is going to be seen is that how the uh, South Africans are going to play the uh, Sri Lankan spinners, especially Rangana Herat according to me. And already, you know, uh, the, even the uh, Dean Elgar who played in the tour game sounded that, you know, Rangana Herat could be the key. And even Kumar Sangakara has also come out saying that Rangana Herat could play a great role and why not. Uh, so tomorrow is the first uh, test match which starts at uh, uh, Centurion Park here. And um, uh, it's going to be a greenish pitch. Uh, so it is going to be very interesting. South Africa on their homeland could be quite something. It's not easy to really handle them. And any team which has come there has been has, has come in for a very tough examination uh, when they come to South Africa. Uh, it is mostly, if you see, Australia and South Africa are almost similar. Their pace and bounce would be the key. Now, keeping that in view, uh, I would uh, rather give the uh, give the uh, the uh, the upper hand for South Africa. Not only due to home condition, not only due to their psychological record, and also they have a good record at the Centurion. They have lost just a single match, according to me. So uh, they have everything going for them. But as far as uh, Sri Lanka is concerned, well, as I said, they are hunting for their first test win ever in South Africa. Whether they will be able to get it, uh, we will know when this three test series uh, finishes. But tomorrow, watch out for my report on the first day's play at Centurion Park between South Africa and um, uh, Sri Lanka. So we are looking out for a good, games, a good day's play tomorrow there. And hopefully we have a good start there. Uh, other than that, uh, dear fans, friends and subscribers, uh, I'm, I, I don't have anything else to talk right now. Uh, I'm going to end up my cricket show for today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you.